Hi, hi, Genki Call here with Broken Spire for the week of August 7th, 2023. Uh, we're going to do the things I usually forget first, and those are the trials and under Spire. So, for the trials, um, I just made one little change here. I was going to put Shegra in front of the Sulfur Slime. Sulfur Slime is going to create a bunch of um, red, basically. It's going to take, well, I mean, you can see what it does. Um, the nice thing about the, this team is pretty much everything gets bonus red mana from red gem matches. It's just going to be super nice. Uh, Volcanic, Golem, and Taraxis both get 50% skull damage reduction. Again, with the bonus um, red mana from red gem matches. Double skull damage versus burning enemies. Nothing here to burn except for Shegra. Shegra's third trait is going to burn a random enemy when you match red gems. You're going to be matching a ton of red gems, so hopefully that double skull damage versus burning enemies for both of these is going to be super helpful. I definitely recommend leaving these two up front. Volcanic Golem is going to gain life and armor. As a matter of fact, you might want to do this and leave Taraxx up front to give Volcanic Golem a chance to bulk up and uh, get extra life and armor. Um, Shegra, of course, is going to turn all of the red gems on the board into skulls, and uh, yep, that's about it. So this is what I'm going to recommend just starting off. You could do this, but yeah, definitely keep one of these two or both up at the front of the team. That's my recommendation. As far as Underspire, I haven't put in the team yet, so give me just a second. Bum -bum -bum. All right, so this is what I'm going to be using. Um, two Magma Dragons, Pigra, and you can use the Flammifer, you can use Shegra's Heart, or you can use the Fire Guard's Heart. heart. These are the options that I'm personally going with, is one of these three. Um, explode. Oh, whoops, this isn't right. Hold on, I was going to put Shegra on here as well. Shegra on here as well. So I'm going to change that in just a minute, but let's see. Explode. I love my Splody weapons. We're going to go with Splody. We're going to go with the Splody, even though, you know, we've got some mana blocking going on here with the Lava Storm from the Magma Dragon. Lava Storm is red and brown. You're going to have plenty of red and brown. So brown, red, 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 and brown. So, um, and as far as the class goes, I personally am going to be going with Slayer because I have it maxed out. You don't have to use Sunspear to have the the storm because you're going to have it from the magma dragon but i'm using slayer for one thing we have the enrage the bleed is you know okay but we also have enrage on four plus gem matches and fireblade deal triple skull damage to burning enemies which we will get from um shegra whom i'm about to put on here do, 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 shegra so that's why i'm gonna do this uh as far as the banner goes let me just say i'm gonna say yellow and red We'll have plenty of brown, or we could do even brown and yellow, whatever, whatever, um, sure, that one. That's the one I'm going to go with. So I will put this team code in the description box below. Maybe there's a better team out there, but it's just what I'm going to be using to start off with, so... Uh, haven't put too much thought into it. Next up, let's not forget that we still have the Legends Reborn event. And um, get your free stuff over here. Near all the free stuff in this left-hand corner. This stuff over here is is with gems. And then this is real money. Yeah. Anyway, that is still going this week. And then for campaign, kill enemies in any battle. 200 of them. Kill brown enemies, 100 of them. And match 400 skulls. So um, that is the all you're going to be doing with campaign this week. And did it do, as far as the boost, we're going to get plus 5 armor. Next up, we have Broken Spire Troops. But first, let's go into the shop, grab our Spoils of War. I recommend getting all 10 of these every week if you can. We'll grab that. It's a great deal for the um, event keys. Weekly event. This guy looks really interesting. And I always get this up to Mythic level. And when I say Mythic level, that just means that you ascend it to Mythic and that means you can get it to level 20. It doesn't make it a Mythic troop. 
it just means you can ascend it to level 20. Um, and you'll get all of these lovely things as well. Um, if you've got the glory to do it, I highly recommend this because you will be able to get um, this new troop up to level 20 when you need it for your power level, and that's really important. Uh, did I, I went over the trials. Yes, I did. Okay, so now we're going to go over the troops, and including the one I just... I did not mean to click that. Including the one I just purchased. And... Let's sort this by base rarity, and we're just, by popular demand, we're just going to go over the most notable troops that we've got in here. Let me make sure I have them all showing. Show all. Good. All right, I have them all. So, as far as the mythics go, I like them both. Amarok, Amarok, <sighs> Amarok hasn't gotten much respect, and I think he is a much better troop than people give him credit for. Um, he's going to do damage to an enemy with a 10% chance to devour them, boosted by red gems and burning enemies. You'll get an additional 4% for each red gem and each burning enemy, and if the enemy dies, you create 9 red gems, making it so he can possibly loop. He also burns and stuns a random enemy when matching 4 plus gems. Skull damage reduction, so I like to put him up front. He's devouring things, he's got that skull damage reduction, he's gonna, whenever he devours, all of these numbers are gonna go up. I really like Amarok a lot. Also, we have Infernus, and the great thing about Infernus is that he burns all enemies on 4 plus gem matches. He also summons a firestorm when an enemy dies. He does splash damage, and that's information's right here. Splash damage to two random enemies and explodes five random gems, which means, you know, you might be able to loop if the gems fall just right. So, I like him for his third trait. I don't really love splash damage but it's very good for using against teams that submerge a lot since you can still hit them even if they're submerged um, you will not be able to get the ace of wands this is a tarot card those must be obtained from the vault and you will not be get able to get any of the troops from fire rift because those are in fire rift in the underworld underworld yes underworld <laughs> Anyway, um, as far as notable troops, we have Shegra. Shegra is amazing. I didn't quite go over this, but she creates seven red gems, converts all red gems to skulls. She's, she's really, really powerful. And I think she's underrated. She does double skull damage versus burning enemies if she ends up at the front of the line, and she burns a random enemy when matching red gems. Next notable troop would be the Flame Troll. This guy doubles the number of red gems on the board. He's a troll. He doubles the red gems on the board, then creates three more. He's just like any other troll, like our favorite forest troll, but this is for red. And then uh, burn enemies when doing skull damage if he ends up at the front of the queue. Next is Igneous. I really like Igneous. He is a god slayer. He's going to do damage to an enemy based on all of his ascensions, of course, with the three to five times damage, and transform all red gems to brown, which will help you, hopefully, loop. Um, you know, he's one that's not used a lot. I do really like him, though. He's got that 50% skull damage reduction, and, you know, he's a god slayer. So anything that has full stars, it's turquoise, and it has all of the stars lit up, I used to just say red border, but there aren't, I'm sorry, yeah, the red borders, the ones that former, formerly had red, I'm, I'm losing my mind, I'm so sorry, I'm thinking mythics, anything with red stars is going to get that three to five times damage, my bad, please forget I said all of that, <laughs> anything with a red border, there are no bosses in this kingdom, so I can't show you there, but... Next up, we have the new troop, the Jeweled Golem. I'm just going to go ahead and max that out. This guy explodes a gem, then creates a 1-3-X wild card with two more for each brown gem destroyed. So, those 3-X wild cards are really, really nice. As far as when he gets shiny, we have that information on the forum. So, let me read it to you. Hold on. Well, shoot, I can't find it. Shiny level 0 or shiny level 1 will decrease the mana cost by 1. Shiny level 2 is going to make you create a bunch more wild cards. 
I saw it somewhere and I don't remember where it was. So sorry I can't give you the specifics, but shiny level 2 is shiny. I like it. Uh, <laughs> gonna make this a lot more useful. Anyway, next up, let's see, you get him automatically. Lava Troll. Oh, it's a mix of red and brown gems. That's great if you're running with Magma Dragon, but you know, in general, I prefer the trolls that create one color over two. Pigra is actually a really good mana gen. Create seven red gems and explode a certain number, you know, half of your magic plus one. Explode red gems with a 30% chance to do another summons. The downside of Pigra is the mana cost, but still a pretty good mana generator. And you summon a firestorm anytime an enemy dies as well. Next up, we have our Siege Breaker. This is for fighting towers. This guy um, is definitely something you're going to want when the time comes. But of course, when we have the Tower of Doom, we may have a new Siege Breaker. So it's kind of old information now. Hmm. You can still use it in an event, but with the new Siege Breakers coming out, eh, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. We've only done one invasion since the update came out. So Taraxis is a lower level troop that does damage to all enemies, plus it transforms blue gems to brown to boost the effect. This is a really nice card to have if you're lower level, and it's super helpful in delves as well because you get that boost to your stats and your magic, so you do more damage. He also has skull damage reduction and the bonus red mana for red gem matches and the double skull damage versus burning enemies, so um, yeah, Terexis is not bad. Uh, da -da -dum -dum -dum. can't get this. Fire Rhinax. Uh, let me see what else I've got here. All right, Lava Elemental is another from Broken Spire that does damage to all enemies. He also burns them as part of his um, part of his spell, and uh, double skull damage versus burning enemies and fifty percent skull damage reduction. So, you know, this guy's actually pretty useful at the front of the team. Next we have, let's see, can't get this, this is from Fire Rift. Next we have the Lava Worm that can possibly loop because it's creating these extra red gems. You know, you use the Sandworm and I think it's the Sandworm. Anyway, different ones in Arena, you see how often they can uh, loop and this one just creates red and hits the last enemy just like those others. Uh, let's see, this does triple damage to Constructs and 50% Skull Damage Reduction. Uh, let's see what else. We went over the Sulfur Slime. Volcanic Golem is actually pretty useful. Uh, it has Skull Damage Reduction by 50%, double Skull Damage versus Burning Enemies, Explode a Gem, Burn a Random Enemy for every Red Gem destroyed, and he tanks up. Uh, I like this. I used this in a, in a delve where I didn't have a level 500 delve, I should say, where I didn't have access to the really good troops to help you do a lot of damage, and he worked out great. That 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 level 500 delve went just fine with this guy up front. Um, next we have Sulfur Slime I already went over earlier. Let's see, can't get this. Ogress is amazing. If you don't have Ogress yet, you need Ogress because she is absolutely she has changed the the way that bounty works because she's great mana gen unless you're super low level she is amazing mana gem gem mana gen plus with that 50 percent skull damage reduction and the summons it's just really really great to have ogres on your team when you're doing bounty and uh firebomb is not it's not really used much anymore. It used to be you'd use this with um, the Sunbird and it's empowered, blows itself up, it, it explodes some red gems, does a little bit of damage to a random enemy. You know, you can summon things into its spot. It's not bad. Mostly you're going to see it in PvP where people just want to lose. <laughs> but that's about it. So anyway, the, those are the most notable troops that we have here in Broken Spire. So next up we've got, let me see, let me see, what have I forgotten? 
Um, taking this new guy into PvP and Explore will give you an additional 400 gold per battle. And I think that is about it. Let me just regroup here. Hold on. Well, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I can't remember what it is. So let me know your questions. Tell me what I've forgotten, if anything, down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye! Wait a minute. I did forget something. Ha 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 ha. Whoops. All right, we have the Tower of Doom event, and this is super important. This is super important, guys. Things have changed in the Tower of Doom. Where in Brown Tower of Doom, you can only use the color of the tower for your weapons, and that is new. Also new, you must use the new doomed weapon. It's in the shop. It's also in the Soul Forge. Don't waste your diamonds. Get it in the shop here for invasion. But you must use this weapon in the boss rooms. If you're fighting a Doom, you must use this if you want to get the new reward tiers finished off. As there are 16 of them now. So, that is everything, I think. I think I've got everything now. So, please like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye!